You say it to yourself. Say you don't ever give me again. I swear to myself. Say me ever give you every reason. You claim to me hurt you. And you want to get back your revenge. You want to get me your feelings. If you go for you know, kill me. You know what me so where you are with me. And you know I'm a man already seen me. You know me and when I bust a jaw string me. Me no come out of the queue up in me. Come Jamaica, read all about it. Yeah, people, it's a weekend, and you have to have a nice weekend. You know what I mean? But you have to make sure so you try to have a nice day every day. And every weekend alone is supposed to be nice. Every day is supposed to be nice. No, it's enough time we wake up and we in a some mood where I say, Jaja. What am I doing a life to people? Why me? You know what I mean? We have to always remember we still have to give thanks and we rise. Because look at it. The position we are in right now. <laughs> the position we are in right now. It's better than many other people. Because you have the opportunity to have a phone with service. Or you have Wi-Fi while you have some people don't even have a phone so you're still in a better position than many others so you have to just look at it and say you know what give thanks we have to learn to be thankful right miss Jade we have to learn to be thankful and be very grateful you have to be grateful for people that in your life and you say good people in your life value them and keep them at a high standard. Keep them very close to your heart. People who treat you good, value them very well. Hold them at a great standard. People who deal with you good. Because remember, say you have different, different people. You have some people who tolerate them, tolerate them, and claim that they love you. Because you might have something you can give them, you know? Some boy you were beneficial to them. Because even your family, them, you have to check nowadays and say, so this family member yeah, they have never called me one day out of the blues checking to see what's up if I'm good or you know how well am I or you know try to chop it up with me and them only time you hear from this family member is when they want credit when they might beg something when they might borrow something it's always when they need something but whenever you need something it's like basically you still have to pay them for doing it. You can't even call them for a favor. Because you notice enough people when you call them ask them to do something for you. I don't have no gas. I don't have no bus fear. I don't have this. I don't have that. But each time they call on you, they are never there. It's come like one time Ashanti said, I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. So what we have to do, look, listen understand 
the people in our life. We don't forget mad. We don't have to get ignorant. We don't have to fight with nobody at all. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do it. All we have to do change how you deal with them. Because remember, you know, people always say it's not who oh, shit a bush member are the man who step in it. Because, you know, each day me get up me and learn. I worry about things just that upset me, you know. I upset me and it realize that when me upset, give me a lot of idea because I'm so hungry, you know. At even one person. So I start learning now because sometimes the energy what we try to pass on for some people, they don't deserve that energy. There. So that's why I always tell people, say, me, that man with daily energy. If me realize that I depend on this and people like I have a debate and we have a trace and we have to get ignorant and start this so one and the done. Better me come off alive. We can debate respectfully. We can. We can have disagreement respectfully, but when it start get disrespectful, them time they have got jolly line. So certain things we decide to I me mean, put myself in again. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. So I learn me and learn. See? Because enough time you will fight for a person and them not fight for you. It's like a them give the other person. The knife is stab you in your back. And you claim say them are your friend and them are fight for you. Them not really fight for you. Them fight for you in your face and say, Yeah man, I want to wear the boy there and that girl there. Again, a great person always reminded me and said, Richard, let me tell you what is a friend. A friend is somebody who defends you behind your back and talk good about you behind your back. Not somebody who talks good to your face because anybody will talk good to your face. But not everybody will talk good behind your back. And that's why I mean that man can't in a mix up because I never talk what the other person says. Because if you come to me and you tell me about spice. I mean, no, say me and Spice are friends. A message you give me. You give me a message for give her. So I am going to give her. If you give me a message about Pampute, I'll the same thing. Can from me sit down with you. I mean, I entertain you disrespecting somebody who I call a friend. I am worse than you because I am there indulging and diversing in this conversation of you degrading somebody who I call a friend. And most of these people don't know how to appreciate a friend. A friend can have more than you financially. But remember, a friend do have more life than you. You know both have life. You know both have health and strength. And just financially alone, this friend might be a little bit ahead of you. Enough people take this friendship thing for a financial gain. Many people who say, oh, I'm a friend, this my love, my friend, oh, it's all about my friend. But when you say he's your friend, why do you say this is your friend? Because this friend has something to give you. Or because you truly and really admire this friend and you look up to this friend. Or, you know, you know where this friend is coming from, so you're genuinely glad for them. You support this friend behind them back and war for them. Like, you know. So we have to learn. Every day we get up, we have to learn. We have to learn for understand and let go something. Like enough things, I don't let go. When I say I don't let go, I never ever forget them. Because they have taught me. So each time I remember, it put me to another level for not to ever make this happen again. And when I try for to reason with people and tell them, say, I'm not a preacher, I know. I'm not a preacher. I just try to bring across my life to people and make them know that so I live. You see the truth? It can always be an offense. But always remember. Speak your truth. 
at the end of the day your conscience will be free your mind will be clear speak your truth nobody don't want to hear the truth all i hear them i tell you remember one time tommy i said don't bring me roses bring me the truth i'm ball out so if you bring out the truth and then when you hear the truth and the man said I just don't have sex with the same. Jesus Christ, wicked dirty man. Look how man wicked. Why? Murder. Me yet man. Man a dog. A junk of them. And you say you don't want the roses, you want the truth. And the man bring you the truth and tell them just give me a girl a piss for them. And your becks. You know what I mean? Your becks. But that's how life go. That's how life go, you know. I look my life that way there. I spoil it. I'm not afraid because everything is legitimate. 100% of love you have to get. I'm not worry things more than curry. I'll be at your service in a hurry. Say Anyway, it's the weekend. Today is Friday. It's the it's the sixteenth of the month, July. Summer start. And. School I got open back September. Cause I one year the youth and I go to school. The one them will get the little online classes and thing. God go with them. Cause I mean, no say them no say the other kids them have to come up. So like um the Jamaica Teachers Association having a major problem. Where some kids have to come up. And some kids have to go down. Who have to go in at 4th grade? And who have to go in at 5th grade? 4th grade kids, they not get enough online classes. 5th grade people, they not get enough online classes. But some have to repeat. Some can't repeat. Now the parents, they have to just go see with everything what I go on. Because if you notice, now only about graduation not going on this year. Because, you know, no class not really do one thing. Well, they don't know say summer start. When you say you think it start long time. But they know what I say. Summer start and people are outside. Because we inside so long. See? When I say. By next year, I hope we can get over this. Where we can go live back with normal life. And us. Who we'll forget about them job, get back them job. And or get back a different work where you can earn. Because unemployment right now. The mash way up. I'm not talking about America and no other country. I'm talking about Jamaica. Unemployment the mash way up. Trust me. Unemployment the mash way up. And to the way them are much work right now, there's more stress and depression on the people. Them. People are going through depression right now. Right now, I know of a situation where a lady just sit down and look out of space because she said nobody no love her, nobody no concern about her. She does not eat. She just sit down and not look out of space. That's why I always say, people, don't wait till let somebody die. If you say you love them, they are not going to know that you love them. Don't wait till somebody dies to show empathy. Don't do that. Because some people are saying, oh, my mother get big funeral or my father get big funeral. But really and truly, before your mother or your father died, you didn't care if they eat, sleep or shit. And people need to stop the things for the ground. Do things because you want to do it. 
do things because you want to do it. You know what I mean? Because a whole heap of people dead last year and a whole heap of people died this year. And people, depression is real. Depression is real. Anybody can go through depression. I know that mothers go through postpartum depression when they just have a child and you know what I mean? So I know about that one. But the different type of depression that people got through. Trust me, Miss Mac. It's serious. Anybody where you have in your life where you have value and you call them friend or family, check on them, send them a message. Me, Mr. Carson, you ask me how I keep in. You know what I say? Me, that man does get emotional more time when he come on to my mother. Because I don't really sit down and worry about nothing. But I have my days when I just break down. I miss my mother. I'll leave two times a week me that man just have a breakdown. And I just sit down and just go in a different place. Because you know. Relationship with me and with her, and it's like me know what she did not there again, you know. Me know she not there again, but it's like when you used to you do certain things. I remember your mother like you go buy all the food and you say, "Oh, my mother." Regular, me take up on my phone and look for her number. Regular, because me know me never ever get over it, you know. See? So, I can't say I understand and I know enough people I got you. Because, when I tell them I have different type of depression, I can't fall in a depression when I remember my mother, you know? Because I remember my mother this, and I and I have a great relationship. But you have some people depressed because they don't get no work. And they try to get a work all and they try to get a breakthrough. And right as they forget the breakthrough, COVID comes. So I stress that, deep stress. And I can tell you these people, we living in Jamaica right now, if anybody at all give you anything, say tanga, anything at all, no care how small it is. No care how small it is. Be grateful. We're living in a time right now where we have to be grateful. We have to be very careful. Nobody knows us. A few people, you can say, well, some people are the concern. Like them saying, you know what? Let me link her and let me link him. My mind run on them. Here with me start though. When my mind run on anybody at all, I take up my phone and call them. Not to message them or say if them good. My mind run by you so I have a call it. You know what I mean? So to all of the people who have gone through depression because of work. Listen to me. I want depression I don't want you nobody to go, go tell me about. How the man left or the woman left and them depressed. Listen to me, you have to save your strength. I know you have to hurt and if you want to cry, you cry. But don't make that be the reason why you hold on yourself and just decide to say, I eat this and no more life. Now I don't want to hear about that. If it come on to work, we can sit down and reason back about the work. You had your plans and you had a lot of things to, in, to deal with. Trust me, you will get it back. You mean, Patrice, the right way. Remember, so anything where you lost, you can get back, but you cannot get back a life. They get back any materialistic thing, but you cannot get back a life. A life is a very precious thing and we have to cherish life. We have to cherish life, people. Don't say you can't do this, sir. I don't know how this is going to work. You have to pray. Because enough of we know. You don't have to pray for people, see. You can't pray amongst yourself. You can't even stand up right and look and pray. You don't have to even close your eyes for pray. 
But you have to get back and believe a lot of people that they, they have not been believers for a couple of years now. They have lost faith in the Almighty. People, the Almighty is real. The devil is also real. Just like how the Almighty, the Creator is real, the devil is also real. And the devil is working over time now more than ever. The devil I require or I acquire or I recruit souls more than ever and he might win. Don't fall into the devil's trap. I found my things that I am Christian or whatever, but that's the truth. Because we are living on ground right now where people don't believe in a church again, people don't believe in a God. People just get up and live. And when people are live, them just are live like who gives a fuck. And when them they write at that door, them start saying, Jesus, Father God. Nobody prays more than a person where I lose them freedom or decide to say them I got dead. Nobody don't pray more than this person. So why not pray when things are going? Because most time people get up and them pray. Whether you pray to Yahweh, Yahshua, Jehovah, Buddha, Queen Amiga, Queen Ashiba, anybody you decide. You yeah, pray to. Why not pray when things are going on? Why every prayer now where you pray? Father God, why me have to go through this? Father God, what am I doing in life? Father God, I need to look at sister and Father God, find a way for me. Father God, this and that, 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 and then pray to everything to God. So when you get your breakthrough and your blessing, you don't pray back and say, thank you, Father, because you make this happen. Why you can't say, Father God, give me the end and strength to go through today. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for making me live to see another day on this earth. People have gotten so ungodly. People have gotten so ungodly these last of days. That's the church. I lose. People don't believe in a church again. They got the same church. Are going in with some holy but nastiness. The church covers them and the non-believers them are linked up in the church. So the believers them and the actual worshippers come like say them get drawn over the bad side and I've been seeing it it's dep on the internet right through it depends on the internet right through like I've been seeing it there's more ungodly like now we're living in our time right now where we see the vipers I remember my grandparents used to tell me about generation of vipers a dish I talk about Generation of vipers are the double generation of vipers than this now. People don't pass anymore and say excuse. People walk right through the middle of your people just butt in your conversation. Take up your conversation, take up your argument, put on feed them head. You don't know them from a can of paint. All of a sudden, at them, they say you're dead. You want a conversation, make you for dead. We're living in a society right now where it's not just only Jamaica. It's happening all over the world. Atlanta, Philadelphia. Teenagers killing off people. People, you have on a chain. And you love the chain. And you save your money and buy the chain. And somebody just want to come kill you for the chain. You can't even talk about your achievements to any anybody anymore. Not even your achievements. Somebody will say them rate a long time. And them love you. And them want the best for you. As you go somewhere you reach where you reach, these people feel like say you have to carry them to life don't go like that. You can tell me say you're glad for me. Or you're not actually glad for me. I'm realize these things that some people like you until you reach somewhere. Or some people proud of you until you reach where you reach. Once you reach, them feel like say yes, feed them life you change too. No. Remember, yes, you support me. You gave me some good talks. You motivated me to push and carry on. 
and I appreciate that but not because you told me all of these things what you should have done is take them for yourself also and push yourself too of course I will give you but I'm not going to be able to give you all the time and you're going to have a problem with me the time I said no what about all the times when I said yes you don't remember all the times when I said yes you remember the one no because you expect say your life it changed now because my life changed now no I made a way and pushed my effort I woke up early in the morning and when I went out there I went out there in all the weather the rain the snow the storm the everything the hungry no lunch money no breaks fast no bus fear no nothing I just get up out there and say where there's a will there's a way why didn't you do that like me enough time a lot of people have enemies sometimes your enemy is your generation your family your enemy is right beside you next to you behind you sleeping with you and you don't know until them finally can't hold it no more because them tell somebody and somebody was kind enough to come to you and say Richie Sarah come here I have to talk to you I say you're too good to this person you don't deserve this you don't deserve to be treated this way that's why me is a good listener I can listen to anyone's story I don't get up and judge nobody sometimes you see a person walking around and them face to skin up so on them look miserable all the time have a conversation with them and you hear now nah, I forgot the rest of the I raised with one man in about five years ago. Every man in him walk past and talk to himself. He said they are wicked and they are this and they are that and him talk. All kind of things. All man have even been mentioned. One man in me say, fire, walk on. And when the man start talk, I tell you. When the man start talk. The man said to me, Mr. Youth. I have everything for my comfort. People say I'm a madman. People come with all them sisters and want me there with them sister and them sister have AIDS. I look upon them sister. The man said in my house, you have me have much barrel of food and I look upon. I rather dash them way. The man said, people just get up and have a problem with you for nothing at all. And when them can't get you for them way, you know them class, you yeah, say, your mother, your body man, your this or your that. The man said, three things mash up society. Jealousy, envy, and ignorance. But envy and, uh, and, and jealousy that be the same thing and never that him say him say illiteracy jealousy and ignorance that is the thing that mash up society and when him say that I never understand it fully I'm a big man you know I'm going to sit down I'm going to look for myself because sometimes some people will tell us some things and them themselves they even know if they even explain it me learn and now me can explain it back to uno jealousy you get a job and the job it could appear your 50 cent but you got a job you put on your clothes and you dress up nice and you go out there people have problem with that you know they're jealous over that does you getting up and just be able to put on your clothes them don't know if you're hungry. Them don't know if you're belly full. Them assume. Right there is a jealousy. You would have called it bad mind. But the right word is jealousy. Because everybody don't understand what is bad mind. We call jealousy bad mind, you know. You understand? 